It was always my ambition to fly. As a child, I thought aircraft were really exciting, and I loved going to the airport. My desire to become an astronaut is the next logical step. I fly fighter jets, I have a degree in engineering, and my crowning ambition would be to fly to outer space. Nicola Baumann is one of more than 400 women who've applied to train to become Germany's first ever female astronaut. It would be really exciting to be at this cutting edge of technological possibility, at the frontier of human endeavor. So for me, there's just no question. More than anything, I want to go to outer space. The fighter pilot has already gone through the first round of the selection process. There are only 86 applicants left. She's also had psychological and technical testing. It's important to know all of the procedures. What's the launch procedure? How do I work through checklists? What do I do if things get hectic or stressful? Being able to remain calm under stress is important, as is being conscientious. I'm always 100% prepared, and I know exactly what to expect. Half of all astronauts are military pilots by profession. So they're used to extreme pressure. A fighter jet travels at up to 2,000 kilometers an hour. Flying at an altitude of 17 kilometers, Nicola Baumann is a little closer to her dreams. Up to now, surgeon Britta Wagner has kept both feet firmly on the ground. But she too would like to become Germany's first female astronaut. This patient has just survived a life-threatening operation. I'm someone who remains calm in difficult situations, who works in a very precise and structured way, and I like making decisions. I don't shy away from them, and I think that makes me pretty well equipped to go up into space. I'm not an engineer, I didn't study physics, and I'm not a rocket propulsion specialist, but I think I have what it takes to do a good job up there. Britta Wagner says that even as a child, she dreamed of going to outer space. She's keen to do research on the space station. What effect does space flight have on people? What does it feel like? What does it do to you? Someday we'll want to take longer journeys. No one knows what will happen to our planet, so we need to study what happens to humans in outer space. An astronaut has to be physically fit. That's also tested during the application process. Nicola Baumann has to work out every day for her job as a fighter pilot. In zero gravity, muscles atrophy every minute you're up there, so you have to start off with a very good level of fitness, so that you're still in good shape when you come back. Baumann's family is firmly behind her. Her mother and grandmother were pilots too. Taking calculated risks is a requirement in her job, as is having an appetite for adventure. Takeoff must be incredible. The rocket launch must be amazing. Putting on your helmet, then slowly climbing into the rocket, and igniting the engine, which really has a lot of thrust. And then you're on your way. No roller coaster in the world could match that. Her rival dreams of swapping the operation theater for outer space. My attitude is that when you think you've hit your limit, you can still manage twice that. That's the attitude you need to get up there and especially to get back again. I can't really imagine how amazing it must be and will be. I don't know, I want to experience it. I'll be bowled over. I'd like to make it further than the ISS. I'd like to fly to the moon or to Mars. 
Ultimately, two women will be selected for training as astronauts, and just one of them will fly to the ISS in 2020.